I've got a new Javi flavor for you today. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. And most of the time that incorporates coffee in some way or another. So a while ago, and I will link this video up above, I did a review of this Javi Coffee Concentrate. You really only need like a teaspoon and you get your like instant coffee right then. No heating up water, unless you want it hot, you can heat it up, but like no brewing it or anything like that. You just take this out of the fridge, add it to your liquid. There you go, you got some coffee. Well, Javi came out with actually some more flavors. They came out with caramel, French vanilla, mocha, and I think pumpkin spice. So they have all those flavors now and I got the caramel one and I'm gonna give it a try for you and just kind of let you know how it compares to the regular Javi coffee. Now I've already gone ahead and just filled up my cups with a little bit of milk and put one teaspoon of each of these into their corresponding little cups and I have to preface this because I haven't tried these um, side by side in this way with this much milk. I have to preface this with, I like my coffee like with my sugar, right? I like coffee with my sugar, not sugar with my coffee. So I like things very sweet <laughs> and I didn't add any sugar or anything like that. So I'm probably gonna feel like, oh, I need to add you know, sugar or some type of other creamer or whatever just to get that out of the way, okay? <laughs> but right now, let's just go ahead and just compare the flavors um, as like black coffee. And uh, then I'm actually gonna both use both of these guys together and kind of make a more elevated frappuccino type drink. And I'm gonna um, use some of the other like mocha powder that I have because I like a caramel mocha frappuccino. So I figured that this caramel Javi coffee would be perfect to add into that. So. Let's get this taste test done and then we'll head over in the kitchen and make a blended drink as well. Okay, so first up, Javi, plain coffee concentrate. Um, I probably could have added a little bit more milk, but I didn't want to dilute it too much, you know, and affect my review, so. It's very strong, probably could have added more milk, but it tastes like how I would imagine black coffee. And this is, in line with what I said when I did the previous review. So now we have the caramel one. Definitely a different color. Let me show you guys this. Definitely a different color. The smell really reminds me of McDonald's caramel, caramel. I say both, I, I can't decide. Um, it just, it reminds me of like a caramel frap from McDonald's when you smell it definitely smells like McDonald's caramel. It definitely has a caramel flavor. And it's not like, oh, it just smells like it. It definitely has the caramel flavor. Like I said, I need like sugar or something. Yeah, and you know what? I love like McDonald's caramel fraps. <laughs> um, and so I think that this would be really great even just by itself blended up as like a caramel frappuccino thing. Um, you'd probably have to add some type of sweetener, obviously, um, if you like the kind of, if you want to make like a McDonald's caramel frap dupe, you're going to have to add some sweetener to this, but the caramel flavor is definitely there. So since I have both of these drinks kind of ready, let's go ahead and make a frap in the kitchen. And we're going to do this voiceover style because it is a little loud in here. We've got like laundry going and dishwashers and it's Thanksgiving today and I've got like a cake to decorate. So it's a little wild in here. Let's go ahead and do this voiceover style and enjoy. So first up, I just fill this little guy with a good chunk of ice. I haven't quite figured out the perfect amount uh, using my parents' blender. I am looking forward to getting my little personalized blender back out of storage. And then I do about two to three scoops of this mocha cappuccino cafe de vita powder. Today I just did about two, but in a normal just mocha frap, I do about three. And then I went ahead and added in both of the Javi coffee drinks that I had previously made. And this ended up coming out to be a very subtle caramel mocha frappuccino. 
I think if I used twice the amount of the caramel Javi instead of half regular, half caramel, it would have been um, probably like the perfect blend of caramel mocha. But uh, in this case, you know, I didn't want to waste the original, obviously. And so it was a nice, subtle caramel mocha frappuccino. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do have an affiliate code for Javi Coffee uh, down below. So if you guys would like a little discount and want to help me out, go ahead and click on that and order some for yourself. Don't forget to like this video. And if you are new here, again, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content. And I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.